On the evening of March 23, 1991, 14-year-old Edward Crowley settled into his aunt's home in the West Hills section of Albany, New York. It was a quiet night, and he was looking forward to spending the night there. The next morning, on the 24th, Edward got up early, ready for another day at the Maywood School. The school, part of the BOCES program in New York State for special education students, was a distance away, but Edward was used to the routine. He stepped out into the crisp morning air and began his trek. Little did anyone know that this ordinary morning would soon become a heart-wrenching mystery. Tragically, Edward never made it to school that day. Somewhere along the way, he vanished without a trace, having been seen last around Northern Boulevard and Livingston Avenue. His family, alarmed by his absence, alerted the authorities. However, their concerns were initially met with skepticism. They were told there was no rush, that perhaps Edward was just a runaway. But his mother, Therese Crowley, knew better. She felt the weight of worry settle deep within her heart. Edward Crowley, affectionately known as Mitt, was more than just a missing teenager. He was a bundle of energy, a young soul who loved playing Pop Warner football and had dreams that stretched far beyond the city limits. But on that fateful morning in 1991, the streets of Albany held secrets that would forever alter the course of his life. His mother embarked on a relentless quest to find her son. Armed with determination and fueled by love, she began to inquire into the neighborhood where Edward was last seen. It was a part of the city that bore scars during the 1990s, a time when drugs and crimes cast long shadows over the community. One lead emerged from a local cocaine dealer, convincing his mother that Edward might have been coerced into a dangerous world of drug trafficking. The dealer's account painted a vivid picture, three older guys leading Edward toward New York City. But fate played a cruel hand. Days later, the same dealer met a violent end in a cocaine den in Troy. His information died with him, leaving his mother with more questions than answers. Undeterred, she traveled to Harlem, carrying a photograph of Edward, showing it to strangers on those bustling streets. A beautifully angelic face, framed by short black hair and warm brown eyes, slightly built at 115 pounds and standing 5 feet 2 inches tall. She even met with detectives there, all to no avail. Almost a year later, on January 8, 1992, Woodcutters exploring a private property 13 miles away in the dense woods off State Route 144, just three miles south of Exit 22 on the New York State Thruway in the town of Queemans, New York, made a grim discovery. Hidden among the trees and underbrush lay the remains of a teenager. He was found wearing the clothing when he was last seen, a blue hooded pullover sweatshirt, gray sweatpants, and a dark blue t-shirt adorned with the emblem of the Silver Anniversary Super Bowl 25 NFC champions and the iconic New York Giants helmet logo. Forensic examination revealed the truth. Mitt had suffered a fractured skull, the result of blunt force trauma, causing his death. With no initial leads, police developed a theory that his murder may have been drug-related. State Police Senior Investigator James Dolan stated that young friends cried and said they knew nothing but admitted he was selling weed. He said, quote, I think that it's a case that is drug-related. For some reason, people decided to take it out on this kid, whether it be to rip him off for drugs or money or other drug-related reasons. This theory may have also been influenced by the arrest and conviction of his mother and older sister for drug charges a few years later. The family alleged that city police intentionally ransacked their apartment, damaging photographs, Christmas presents, furniture, and other personal effects during a January 1993 raid. One person of interest emerged years later when a former professional boxer named Joel Scott, who is serving a life sentence for brutally raping and murdering a woman in Albany's Lincoln Park in June 2004, told police shortly after his arrest that he had killed before. Investigators scrutinized Scott as a person of interest, but he was never charged.
Police refused to comment when asked about Scott in 2019 by the Times Union newspaper. Edward Mitt Crowley's murder remains unsolved, a teenage life cut short. Was his murder the result of him allegedly dealing pot? Is it possible Mitt stumbled upon something he shouldn't have seen? Maybe a drug deal? A drug dealer? A stash? Did young Mitt witness something he shouldn't have? Perhaps even a crime being committed? Or is this a case of him possibly being lured away by a stranger for reasons unknown? His family deserves answers and resolution. If you have any information, please call the New York State Troopers Major Crimes Unit.